Welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tac Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. Housekeeping genes, normalizers, reference genes, internal controls. No matter what you call them, we're talking about endogenous controls. If you're using relative quantification to analyze gene expression with real-time PCR, then you are likely already using endogenous controls. But are you using the best control for your experiment? Let's talk about it. When you use the comparative CT method to perform relative quantification, a difference in expression level is measured as the difference between the delta CTs of the test gene and the endogenous control. For this calculation to be valid, the endogenous control gene must be stably expressed for all studied samples, treatments, or time points to provide a reliable basis for comparison. To find the best endogenous control, we need to identify a gene with expression that does not vary under your specific experimental conditions. In practice, zero variation in expression is rare. So expression is considered stable if the CTs of samples with the endogenous control gene have small variations of up to 0.5. Keep in mind that a difference of one cycle equates to a twofold difference in the initial template. For a control with delta CT values that varied over a two cycle range, there would be a nearly fourfold difference in expression levels. If we were to select a normalizer gene with expression that varied by two or fourfold between samples, the final calculations would be in error by the same factor. Since there is no way to anticipate how a particular treatment or disease state will affect gene expression, the only way to definitively identify the right control is to simply perform a qPCR run with your samples. You will need to choose some candidate genes and check their expression. Here are some easy steps to follow. First, identify candidate endogenous control genes. Ways to do this include checking the literature, such as our application notes, or simply testing some common controls that you can find using the Applied Biosystems TACMAN Endogenous Control Assay Selector Tool. You'll need to test at least one control gene, but it would be helpful to test two or three candidates to find the one that gives the best results. If our literature search turned up empty, then we would have to do a test, such as using an endogenous control panel to screen our samples. These panels are made up of 16 to 32 of the most commonly studied candidate genes and allow multiple samples to be tested quickly and efficiently. Luckily for us, Actin and HPRT look like good candidates since they worked before in a similar experiment. Great! Now that we have identified two endogenous control genes, we can verify the candidates. Our next step would be to purify RNA using the same method for all of the samples. Be sure to include samples that may be affected by treatment or time course, so you are able to compare your endogenous control across treatments. Third, quantify and use the same amount of RNA from each sample. Since you will be validating your control gene, it is vital to keep the template and reagent volumes consistent. Next, test the candidate endogenous control genes in your qPCR reaction using the same volume of cDNA for each reaction. Finally, compare the delta CTs between samples for each candidate endogenous control gene. The best control will produce the delta CT value closest to zero which means there's no difference in expression across your samples. When using Applied Biosystems real-time PCR instruments, you can let the analysis software do the delta-delta CT calculations for you. Relative quantification software such as Applied Biosystems Expression Suite and Data Assist can do this for you with a QC plot. The software will score the candidate controls with the lowest score indicating the most appropriate control. So that's it, we're done. After identifying the best endogenous control gene to use, you're ready to move on to your gene expression study. For more information about selecting an endogenous control, check out thermofisher.com slash controls. And be sure to check out more Applied Biosystems Tac Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash Thanks for watching.